Right, so this is the, I'm just going to turn my phone off, sorry. This is the piece from yesterday, um, off my blog from yesterday. And I thought it might be an idea to add a strip underneath to define the edge or something to like, give me another section. So that if I start down here now, I can do something different in that section. Um, so I'm just going to, it's tacked on. So I'm just going to attach it and I'm only going to attach it easier said than done I'm getting it in the hoop because of the bumpy bits I'm only going to attach it along one edge because I'm thinking if I leave the lower edge free it gives me an opportunity for one the possibility to put something coming out of there I don't know that I am going to do that um, but if I just leave it like that I'm going to sneeze I am sorry um, no I'm not yes I am uh, Yes, I am, right. But, you know, it's... Don't cut off all my options until I really know what I'm doing. Um, so I'm literally just going to stitch it down on this side. So I thought I'd do that on camera. I don't, I don't know why. I think the videos are popular for some reason. I don't know why you like the sound of my voice, but there you go. Do you want me to pull in? I don't know if I should pull in and you can see properly. Oh. I'll just bring my needle up at the front and then I'll uh, pull in. So I'm just going to do even, little even stitches all the way along here. Very utility, these stitches. Uh, very simple, yet effective. So, and hopefully, because um, this is folded over, this piece of cloth, so hopefully I'm catching both sections of it because it's like pressed with the seams inside, the raw edges inside, and then it's doubled over. So I hope I'm catching both edges here. I should maybe check that in a second. Or maybe I'll check it off camera and then if I'm not, you won't get to see my incompetence. No, I am. So... But I do like this kind of sectioning off process. It works for me and it makes me see clearly with more clarity what I need to do next. Um, so, and I do think that Merchant and Mills got quite a lot of custom yesterday for comments and emails or anything to go by. It's a shame I'm not on commission. But it is a lovely fabric and like I say, it's not a fabric I would usually buy. Um, and a lot of people actually thought that I'd made it myself, I'd done the surface myself because I've been doodling a lot, I wish. To be honest, I think you probably know that if I'd done it myself it wouldn't have the blue dye on the front. Um, that would cause me trauma if it was something I had made. I love it to look at and obviously I bought it because I really like it. But if I was making it... Well, I just would never do that because I just would never dye anything because I don't like getting my hands dirty in that sense, you know. I'm not a dyer. Um, I'm not a gardener because I don't like muck or any description on my hands. So, yeah, so I think it looks quite effective and I think it'll be nice. And it, But I, like I say, in terms of what comes next, it'll help even though I haven't decided yet. So... Just do a few more of these and that's all I'll do. I won't do the whole thing. Caught on the bully or not, so maybe I will. We'll see. It's not taking me as long as I thought. I just don't want this video to be massively long. And I don't want you growing beards watching me repetitively stitch, which to be perfectly honest with you is my preferred stitching, repetitive. I love repetitive and it's so relaxing. If I wasn't on camera here, I'd probably be whizzing along this a lot quicker. But I'm having to check that I don't move out of the line of the camera and things like that, so that's what's... Uh, I could do this all day. If this was my job, I think I'd be quite content. How long are we? Four minutes. 
and I'll probably won't go to the end but I'll take it out of the hoop so you can see how this bit looks I mean it's really simple and it doesn't detract from the fabric this kind of stitching either um, your focus is still on the fabric hopefully so there. right and like I say leave that edge like that I mean even if I don't put anything out of there that's still if you imagine this made into a pouch or something that's a nice touch I think to have a, a, a seam or an edge that flicks up like that it adds a bit of texture doesn't it and interesting it'll add shadows when I'm taking photographs and things so I need to decide now now I need to finish that and then I need to decide what I want to do here and for some reason I am thinking petals, applique petals, um, but that remains to be seen. Um, don't quote me on that if I put something on here that isn't petals. Don't say, you said you want to do petals. So that's how it's looking and I like that and I think if I fold it in like that, you do get a sense of how that would look when it was completely embroidered and made up into a pouch um, with that raised band there okay 